Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Fantasy Profile Show. You're on Scott of the Cryptoverse. Today I'm going to talk about two upcoming projects that are launching on ChangeGPT platform, ChangeGPT Pad. So the first one is Vip6, and it's a multi chain, omni chain asset trading infrastructure, and it's working as an indexer and a marketplace as well as a launchpad to form a one step uh, access to all different dApps. So as you can see, they have uh, Ethereum, Solana, um, layer two of Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and EVM layer one compatibility with the Zeta chain and the Z uh, Vip6 protocol, which connects to the BTC and NFT inscription via bridge indexer and a launchpad. So it has the multi-chain trading and launchpad platform for the assets. It's focusing on BTC ecosystem, also with Zeta chain technical roadmap, and they have um, Zeta Chain, which is a we call it a Vanguard, like you know, ETF of cross-chain messaging and also omni-chain standards. Now, in terms of the roadmap for the project in Q1 this year, it's, uh, they focus on NFT trading, index development, and user acquisition to 100,000 people. Q2 will be indexer development, omni-chain inscription, and user acquisition to 200,000 users. Q3 will be 500,000 users with the cross-chain bridge. BTC ecosystem asset breach, as well as the indexer, will be 2024 Q4, end of the year. And their business model works in terms of marketplace and launchpad, compatible with EVM, Solana, and Ordinals NFT, collaborating with the Zeta chain on the omnichain area. And then we have the V6 indexer, which is the first ever built decentralized indexing for BTC ecosystem. And then they've got the bridge uh, protocol standard to cross-chain transfers of PTC and NFT assets. Now, in terms of the team and partnerships, they got team who is a developer lead with seven years of experience in blockchain design and development, is an ex-CTO of Hobby Chain, former CTO of uh, Kingsoft Cloud Blockchain. They have product lead who is former head of products at BitKeep and They've got the business lead, Ethan, who is uh, over five years in project management and different crypto projects. Some of the partners and investors that they got is Zeta Chain, Republic, uh, Maple Block. Um, let's go to their website, actually. I think they will have a better sort of uh, looks and description in terms of the where you can find. So jumping into the VIP6 uh, website, you can also see the user experience, by the way. This, uh, so when you go to their website, they've got the whole uh, beta version, omnichain asset, marketplace, minting, uh, vaults, and everything else. And that's what you can see, like the feature collections that they have. Dollar providers and partners, BNB, Zeta, ZK Sync, Polygon, OpenSea, um, Solana. And then, yeah, that's what I was saying about the minting and hot, hot reward function that they have. Um, in terms of uh, going back to the partners and investors, they've got Polkadot Ecosystem, partner of Arcanium Capital, Arc Capital, LD Capital, and also very strong partnership with Zeta Chain, BRC20, ARC20 Ecosystem. In terms of their tokenomics, they've got a valuation of $15 million. 50% is for reserves, 15% is for team, 2% seed, 3% private. 5% private B, 10% public sale, 5% liquidity, and then 10% for partnerships. And uh, the token utility is basically as a flywheel. They have the features and tasks on V6 ecosystem, which I just showed you. And then they have reward credits, and the credits lead to the burn and launchpad uh, its end through the early quarter. And then they've got the WX token here. So consume the usage of WX token for inscription, Consume the WX token for cross-chain breach for transaction fees. Consume uh, WX for omni-chain NFT inscription. Consume WX uh, for decentralized indexing fee. Now, if you want to see the full tokenomics of the project, uh, and then we come to the public round as well, the seed round is 0% TG and then 20 months vesting after that, 10% every two months. So in terms of the price and vesting, They've got a price of uh, 0 0.1 at uh, 10 million valuation. They've got the private one at 10% uh, unlock on TGE and the valuation of 13 million. 
Private two is 10% TG valuation of 14 million. Public is, and uh, by the way, but these guys are, these rounds are 18 months vesting every two months on lock. Then you've got the public sale 10% TGE. And then one month after TGE, they have linear daily release for nine months, which is 10% uh, at full value the value of 15 million, basically. Liquidity will be 40% on lock on TGE, partnerships 10% on TGE, and then team and reserve have cliff for six plus months. And uh, that leads to an initial supply market cap based on all these tokens of 720. And in terms of the sell pressure is an initial market cap total of uh, 300K. So quite a low initial market cap, if you think about it in the sense of the market cap. Uh, and as I said, the price investing in terms of their socials and the social ecosystem, um, they are quite uh, hot right now, given the narrative of BRC20. Um, and they're also quite uh, well known in the Chinese region because of the, again, NFT support that they provide. So they've got, uh, they're partnering with for Launchpad as well, which I'm going to talk about quickly. But yeah, as you can see, they've got a very active social media and their posts are being supported very actively by different platforms. Um, they even have a token launch on, on Bounce, but yes, very actively supported in terms of social. Now, uh, the launch pads are Pulse Finance, Bounce Finance, Chain GPT pad, and Dial Maker. Uh, the IDO on Chain GPT pad starts on the 20. 6th of February, the guaranteed round, and then the first come first serve starts on the 27th. So um, here you can see that um, registration of interest starts from 23rd of Feb to 25th of Feb. And then you've got the 26th of Feb, the IDO. Now, uh, moving into the next project uh, on Change GPT pad, we're talking about Bibo. Bebo is a very big project in terms of communication and uh, infrastructure for ecosystem that's allowing users to chat between different wallets. And it has a web-based uh, system and toolkit to integrate with dApps. Bebo uh, ecosystem uh, does not provide any compromise in privacy and security as an infrastructure. And it has a messaging layer technical uh, in terms of technicality. Um, it has a chat feature, which is helping Web3 people that have a reliance of Web2 to be able to easily chat and message each other. They have a simple login feature. They've got a simple NFT texting feature. And uh, they also have an earn feature, which is earn from chat room and from Super React and completing daily tasks. They also earn from the bonus rewards and also games like Wordle. They also have a follow feature and a discover feature. The project is actually building a social media platform that's really, really big. And um, in terms of the roadmap, they uh, got going live in Q4 2023. Uh, they have the app already live. They had the beta launch in 2023 Q4. And then 2024 Q1, they are doing the public crunch and airdrop phase one exchange listing. 2024 Q2, they're doing the drop phase two and uh, super chats uh, will be activated. And the rest of the year will be focused on the ads, DAO tooling, and the marketplace. In terms of the team members, they've got Sung Min Chu, who is the CEO from uh, previously in Citadel, Goldman Sachs, Mad Boy Games. And um, he also uh, studied in Hong Kong. Uh, Jong Woo Yoon. Co-founder, full stack developer at Bag Bamboos, and uh, also uh, in uh, Don Doggy, as well as Mad Boy Games again in Washington College, and then the other uh, co-founder is from the JP Morgan, so quite a, a very popular people behind it, and the partners and investor include uh, Samsung Next, Hashkey Capital, Digital Currency Group, Protocol Labs, M6, Token Bay Capital, as well as GBV. Now. Um, in terms of the tokenomics, the public round is going to be at uh, vesting and price of uh, three cents. And the vesting schedule is going to be 100% release on TGE. 
this is a very nice price actually because even KOL I know like 10% unlock on TGE so um in terms of pricing they're doing really um good and fair valuation and then they have really popular people behind it so this is the application you can launch the app you can see the investors and you know have a play around with it quite a popular project now um uh, Bebel has 120,000 followers in terms of socials on um, Twitter, and uh, they're launching, uh, ready for launch on Bybit as well. Um, and they have a chain GPT platform. They, they're actually quite a huge traction in terms of their socials. And um, they raised $7 million in their earlier round. So a really, really a good, uh, I guess, um, launch will be expected. So listing is around end of Feb and Bybit is one of the exchanges. There'll be more of them. And um, you can register your interest from the 23rd to 25th of this month if you have a diamond tier and uh, you can uh, join the IDO on the 27th of February. Uh, so this was the next two IDOs coming on ChainGPT. Um, and by the way, uh, Bebo will also be on uh, Ape Terminal. So if you go to Ape Terminal Launchpad, uh, you can also uh, join and have a look at their IDOs there. They're going to have uh, Bebo and you can now register your interest to participate in the IDO. Uh, there are other projects they're doing as well, but uh, this one is specifically looking at the IDO for Bebo. And uh, as I said, the, the rounds are very favorable for the public round, basically. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or any comments, please make sure uh, you raise it and put it down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my future ones and see you next time. Thank you.